I'm in a great part of Winnetka today, a beautiful street of older houses with the soccer fields at the end of the street. You get a feeling that it's a very family-oriented neighborhood. And we came into this very cozy house built in 1929. I'm with Annika Valdeseri, who is the agent on the house. Annika, it's such a homey place. It is. This is their baby. Um, it is built in 1929, as you said. It shows that with colors, with the stucco walls. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that stucco. Yes. It's got that thick layered on richness that really tells you it's it's been taken care of it's beautiful and the the colors they chose in here this is more the formal part the mm -hmm. older part of the house it has the sitting room with the fireplace uh the staircase going up it's um, with that nice little window seat that's a cute right. little touch another one of the cute touches is that tile floor in the foyer which is from 1929 it is it's original yes and the little bathroom off of it they put a marble in there to match it it's beautiful nice and then from this room, which has a very comfortable feeling, we go over to the dining room through these period arches right. into a great dining room. In the dining room, they kept things from 1929. The built-ins here where they kept their porcelain is absolutely beautiful. You have the old windows from the old house as well, giving the light into the newer part of the home. Right. And then you go through another one of these arches into the blue slate family room, or it's not right. a family room, it's really a library. Right, or a sunroom. Uh, you can use it for multiple uh, things. And one of the things I said to you earlier is you can tell it's period because we wouldn't build a long narrow room like that anymore but it's got a great feeling you can subdivide it into different areas. You can and you have windows the whole way so it's light and bright it's very cozy. That's great. Let's move on to the newer part of the house the younger part of the house. That's right. Let's, Let's do. Now this newer part was added in 1993 is that's that right? That's right that's right. They uh, wanted to keep the feel of the 1929's home. They kept it to the scale of the remainder of the house. It's it's beautiful it has windows going outside you see the windows from the old home uh, which uh, are from 1929 and you see the light goes through it's it's absolutely beautiful. Nice to keep those because then I don't feel that I'm in the inside of a dark house when in the dining room we've actually got the light passing through that's terrific. Absolutely. So you pointed out this arch works in an interesting way. Right it really goes with the arches in the in the older part of the home and this is what leads you into the kitchen which is just sunny and bright and it, it's really the core of the house this is where you spend most of your time. It's certainly far larger than it would have been originally. We know what those little 1929 absolutely, kitchens were. Absolutely, absolutely. And they've put in some nice touches. The Itali I think you said the tile is Italian, right? Yep, they imported those from Italy, right? Um, and they have the Sub Zero, they have the six uh, burner stove from Viking. They didn't skimp. That's great. And one thing that is also abundant in this house, nobody's mm -hmm. skimping on light. This is terrific. We've got a great view out these windows. And I think what you've told me is we're going to see it even better when we get upstairs. Oh, from the master bedroom, it's divine. Great. Let's go take a look. So on our way here to the master bedroom, Monica, we passed three family bedrooms and two baths, right? Those right. are all in the original part of the house. Right. Two full baths. Yes. Nice. Be great sizes of the bedrooms. Uh, so you can easily fit a family of four or five in here. But then this is really big. This steps outside the scale of the rest of the house, and that's where you'd want it, in the master bedroom. Absolutely. And the light in here is, is in the rest of the house, just magnificent. Um, they have lots of closets. They're yeah. all doubled, and you have the, the entire wall, so there's no lack of storage in this house. That's terrific. It's a nice big room. It's got these windows that look original, but as we know, aren't. Right. But then back here, we've got this wall of windows with that same arch we picked up downstairs. See? I like how... Yes, yeah. it follows through the entire home. That's great. This is, a, this is a little tree house up here. You can see the entire yard. And it's quite a yard to look at. It it's is. really terrific. We've got... Um, there's a lot of depth. They've got the levels of deck. You pointed out to me that you can walk right out from the kitchen onto the deck, which, yes, which makes, makes you more likely to do it. Perfect right? for that coffee in the morning. Yes. Or that late barbecue. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's a wonderful yard. Um, they have a sprinkler system in here, which is not always that common, but that keeps it easy to maintain it. There is something blooming back here every day of the season. 